Yeah, well, I'm uh, Martin Pollock, and I was, I'm what, 34. I uh, did uh, mechanics at Camel College for about a year and a half, and uh, yeah, then went on to join the army a few years later. Yeah, I had a couple of uh, injuries out there. Um, yeah, six weeks in, I she got shot in the leg and had like a couple of weeks rehab out there, and then went back and rejoined the unit. And it was a month and a half after that, I then got blown up and uh, lost a few limbs and come home that way. I've got two little fragments of memory. Um, one from maybe 30 seconds after, I couldn't see anything, so I think my eyes were clogged with dirt, but um, I remember I couldn't breathe and digging dirt out of my mouth. And, and then the other one was 10 minutes later, maybe on the stretcher being taken to be picked up, and feeling like I was drifting out and dying, basically. Don't remember the actual explosion or anything like that. You know, so. But I was in inside the doorway of a little room and I, from one of the scars, I'm pretty sure I got slammed into the roof, so a bit of a bang on the head and all, so. There's a lot of other guys will say, like, the day they got blown off, like, they're alive day. But to me, like, that person did die then. I'm Joe Taylor, the CEO and founder of The Wave Project. Uh, you know, surfing in a supportive way, and that's important. I think it has to be, you know, a supportive community behind the surfing. There's something about going in the water, uh, catching waves, being around other people doing that as well, that has this calming, harmonious effect on the mind. When I learned it was like, um, it was almost like the missing part of me. One, it's lifted the confidence of being able to do stuff. Having the focus of something to work on or work towards and trying to be better at is partly to take your mind off these situations, but also to show you like that you actually are capable of doing a whole lot. I didn't really find who I was again. For it was a uh, two and a half years later that that moment, my alive day moment, come. You know, yeah, which was actually learning to surf. So. I vividly remember actually the very first pilot scheme we ran, which was eight years ago. That pilot scheme, we were all very new, we, it was very voluntary, uh, we were all volunteers and we just wanted to kind of use surfing to help these young people to feel more positive, feel better, do something fun. And there was a child on the uh, project called Sam who was non-verbal, but uh, over the course of the six week programme, surf therapy programme we did with him, he started speaking again. Um, to initially just to one of the, the volunteers he was working with, one of his mentors, and then later on to his parents at home. I really realised the power of just doing something simple like surfing and, and being around a supportive community could actually have very powerful uh, effects. But uh, for me personally, I would say it's always something to consider as a, an option to so improve your happiness, yeah. When I get in the water, it's because um, you're like floating and free, I can move pretty quick you know, and yeah. it's kind of like that same feeling again and aside from obviously for me uh, only having half of the arm I don't paddle as strong as others but I'm like equivalent to anyone else you know still move the same way but I'm way freer on the water than I am on land. There is data to back up the fact that it is very helpful for, for those conditions so yeah we'd definitely recommend it. <laughs>